How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to the new home for the Tampa W140 Club headquarters. That's right guys. I'm so excited. Me and Xavier are taking over this entire spot and previously I had shared this with someone else so I was kind of limited on what I can do for storage, on where I could put all my stuff and not only that it was a woodworking shop so there was sawdust all the time going in the air and it made it a little frustrating to really do what we wanted and now we get to kind of follow our dreams. So we have a ton more cars coming up here. Xavier's cars, we're also gonna be storing a friend of ours cars up here and I'm gonna be sharing a lot of those cars with you, some of the experiences with them and a lot of how to as well as parts that we're gonna have available. So let's go ahead and take a walk around. If you're new to this channel, we already have quite a few cars, well I do, on this property and one of them is Xavier's over here but this is my 95 S500 we call Dr. Dre. It's been a little bit of a headache guys and if you've been following the channel you know I've been trying to get this thing running as well as I could for quite some time and I think we're on the right track. So Xavier and I are gonna dedicate a lot of time to getting this thing working completely. And we're very fortunate that we're able to hold on to this 97 parts car that I thought I was gonna to have to move out of here a long time ago. And I convinced the landlord that I could move it around here and there and he allowed us to keep it. So now we can strip the whole car down, take all the parts that we need. I would love to pull the gas tank out of this now that the weather's a little bit better and possibly swap it into here to really get Dr. Dre running properly. So there's a lot coming on all of this a lot of parts and i've said this for a while that will become available keep in mind all the popular things are already gone a lot of you guys want like the mirrors uh the interior pieces a lot of that's gone unfortunately obviously you can see it's been rear-ended but it does have a lot of uh, computer parts and stuff like that a lot of hard to find things that a lot of you need out there especially since this is a 97 so it is a facelift model so let me know if there's anything you need for that and i will let you know if it's even available so that'll be coming up soon we have a really nice storage area to put all these parts too so for future then we got vanilla ice which is my 91 sl 500 that i began to wide body uh, this car also needs a lot of mechanical work to get it running perfectly but all things that we can accomplish within the next six months is what i'm thinking so this car can now go inside we can sand it We've got a lot of new tools that I'm about to show you guys. So a lot of things are gonna make this project a lot easier to finish off. And I'm really excited about that. This is Xavier's 97 W140 that he picked up that we call Bobby Brown that has that amazing interior. Get it open here. As you guys can see here, that nice peanut butter and chocolate blend. And we did a lot of things to this car. So this car is gonna be going on the road very soon and he's gonna take his 99. So he has a 99 with a ton of miles, uh, well over 200,000 miles. That's always been his daily. And he just wants to fix all those little things that have broken over the years because when you're daily in a car, it's so hard to get working on it. So we're gonna take that one off the road and put this one on the road because it's much lower mileage. Uh, and I think this is gonna be a better car for him to daily. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna throw some rims on here and a couple other things. Uh, this is my 1984 Porsche 944 that I'm making into basically a track car. It's going to still be street friendly, uh, but I'm stripping off as much weight as I can, pulling out a ton of stuff. Uh, I just did a video not too long ago on uh, redoing the whole engine bay, painting everything, and it's getting put all back together. There's headers I just put on there, and one of the tools that we got is going to allow me to finish this off, because if we get underneath here you'll see the exhaust is pretty much hanging off. So I picked up a new welder and we're gonna be able to finish off this car. And this is gonna be a fun car for me to drive during our fall and winter months because in Florida, that's the best time to drive a car without the AC. It doesn't get too cold here. You can have the uh, sunroof off of this and it's just a real nice car to drive around. Uh, this is my 63 Austin Healey Sprite that you guys have seen a lot of videos on recently. Uh, I love this car, it is just such a fun car to drive around in. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of it because it seems like every time I go to sell it, it just doesn't work out. And then I fix a couple more things on it and I fall more in love with it. And it seems to be a pretty popular car on the channel. So I love this thing. It's kind of put together mostly by me, a lot of the interior stuff. So that's why I call it my rat rod racer build. It's something that I, I feel like somebody from the sixties, if they had this car, what they would do if they love their car, but didn't have a crazy budget and wanted to make it fast. So it's got a race cam in it, uh, a race head in it. It's got straight headers in it. Just a really, really cool car. Check out some of those videos. They are on my channel. I'll leave a link to whatever I can for you guys. 
And then this is my original 91 SL500 that became a parts car. And I've stripped down a lot of parts on this for you guys, but there's still a lot of good ones. I've got a great trunk on this car. I've got a really good top on this car, doors, mirrors, um, the hood, the fenders are all gone on it, but just a lot of great components and I've used everything I could. So we're gonna strip this one down, store a lot of those parts, the doors, the uh, top here, the trunk, and kind of put those away until somebody needs them. And they'll be a, all of these parts will be available for a very affordable price because we just want them to go to good homes. So if you need any of this stuff, hit me up in the comments um, or actually the best way is on Instagram. I'll put a link to my Instagram. Uh, it's just Pete's Carport on Instagram. So go ahead and find me on there. Send me a direct message and I'll let you guys know what's available. So this is where we're gonna be able to expand. This is the big expansion uh, area here. We're gonna jump in here in just a second because I wanted to show you this area too because I've got a ton of crap over here. So. Um, over the years, I've just kind of had to pile stuff in here. So all this stuff is now gonna be able to uh, be moved to a storage area that I'll show you guys in a little bit, as well as uh, just a lot of stuff that we might need to throw away. So we have one more storage area. It's dark in here, but we've got this area here that I've just been using to store uh, some of the parts that I wanted to hold on to. The issue is uh, this area leaks. So anytime I put stuff in here, I've had to deal with uh, water getting in it and stuff like that. So I really wanna move anything that is important to me out of here and just store tires and stuff like that in here because we've got a lot of tires that are all up under here that we can move into there and we can fit another car in here real nicely. Now, you guys probably noticed this. So ironically, the day that I ended up signing over to take over this place, uh, we had a big storm come through uh, probably the very next day and it ripped my tarp off. So we're gonna have to replace that. So that is in the works right now. And we wanna get two more tarps over here and possibly another carport that comes off over here. So we got all of these things, all of these ideas, and I can't wait to finish this off. And this is the big area. So this is where most of the woodworking was done. This is where I had almost no space. And you can see uh, he left. And you can see he left some of his stuff back there. I told him I'll go through it. There's a lot of it that I'm probably gonna end up keeping uh, and some wood. So there's a real nice table there that I can use, uh, some scrap wood. And I've got, this is where really I had my storage, my tools and stuff. And it's just real hard to get to. Like I said, sawdust everywhere. But now we've got this whole space. And this is what I went ahead and picked up. So we got ourselves a nice big compressor. Uh, we're gonna be able to do a lot with that. We're gonna be able to paint some parts, hopefully in the near future. I wanna get into doing that. Um, and then I've got some LED lighting. All this stuff came from Harbor Freight. I had a blast going and buying all this stuff. Um, and then I've got some tools, uh, air compressor connection, and the cool one here is a new welder. I had the cheap, cheap Harbor Freight welder, which I still have over there, uh, and it never worked right. I think it was missing some pieces after I moved into the shop, and I could never, it was bouncing around. I could never get it to weld properly. So I said, let me go ahead and pick up this one. Had better reviews. Um, I'll do an unboxing review on that probably too, and hopefully be able to get a lot of this stuff that I wanted to weld out of the way. So I want to do a bunch of exhaust stuff that I've been wanting to do on this channel. So that'll be really fun where we can change out exhaust, test out a lot of things that I wasn't able to do. Uh, just storage over here where I've had a lot of just stuff that I've gotten over the years for cleaning, paint, supplies, oils, all sorts of stuff. Um, that's probably going to all stay in this area or move around. And we're going to be able to move some cars in here, guys. So I'm going to be able to move my Austin Healy in here permanently. Uh, I have a couple cars in my house, shockingly, um, and a couple cars in other places. So I've got probably 11 total cars outside of what's here. So we're gonna be moving some cars around, um, some inside here so we can work on them inside. And then we'll have this nice open area where we can pull a car in anytime we wanna do stuff inside. So painting parts and all that stuff will now be capable. The coolest part is the storage up here. So this is where we're gonna be able to store, store all those fenders and parts that we don't wanna get ruined into that storage area, uh, computer modules, and we'll put it into boxes, store it away, label it so we can find it easily. Uh, and then if you guys need it, we'll pass that on at a very good price, like I said. Moving up front here, another area that I really did not have access to much of, and that's this little office area. So we're gonna start clearing all this out, throwing away anything we don't need. Uh, we do have an AC in here, which is nice, but we want to expand that as well. Put some better lighting in here and kind of make this our office for our W140 Club. So if you guys didn't know, on Facebook, we have a group called W140 Club of Tampa, and it has exploded. And there's a lot of good people on there, and it's just going to expand from there. We're going to be able to do a lot of parts on there, a lot of information, 
there's just a lot of good people that know a lot about these cars that are just sharing what they their knowledge with everybody so i highly suggest joining it uh in the beginning we just put that up so that we could find people in tampa uh, we want to do car shows, which we're going to continue to do as well. Uh, that is another big thing, guys. We are going to be able to host car shows at this shop. So if we come out front, which I'll go completely out front in a second, uh, we have a decent sized parking lot that we'll be able to host car shows. So we'll go out there in just a second. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give another quick walk around. We do have another storage area over here too. So we'll be able to put cars along here. We're going to get rid of some of these parts cars once we get all the parts off them, like I said. And we're gonna be bringing in um, some really cool cars of our friends and some of ours that uh, you might not have seen on the channel, but we have this storage here. So we'll be able to put a ton of parts into here as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, just a ton of storage. I mean, this is a beautiful property and already being here just makes it really nice because I've kind of grown with this spot and I've always wanted to have the whole spot to myself. And we finally got that opportunity. You know, unfortunately the woodworking guy had to move on, but um he did some really cool stuff he actually built some stuff for me and so forth and he's very talented so hopefully something else works out for him but this works out for us now so if we step out front you see i got my van here but we got a decent sized parking lot that we'll be able to at least have everybody meet up and this parking lot next door is actually owned by a friend of mine so we'll be able to kind of utilize this whole area here on a nice meetup so very excited about that i hope you guys are excited about where this channel is going to go and i can't wait to expand on it and give you guys tons of new videos uh, hopefully we can get a computer into this office area here so i can edit some of these videos and get them out faster for you guys but just wanted to show you guys uh what we're going to be doing how this channel is going to be going and the exciting news for Xavier and I and a few other people that are gonna be involved with the W140 Club of Tampa. And a few other of our friends that are involved with the W140 Club of Tampa. So join that page on Facebook, message me on Instagram, join me on Instagram. Let's expand what we can share about these cars. And I love to see your cars. Like I always say, send me photos of your guys' cars. I'll try to share those with everybody. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.